Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth, if you're new here, um, and I am a budgeting channel. So I use the cash envelope system um, to track my spending and um, try to get out of debt. Um, this is not a video that I wanted to make, but um, for no other reason than to like keep myself accountable, I um, am doing a debt update video and it is not good news. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how much debt I have. It's more than I had a few months ago, unfortunately, and we are going to talk about the steps that I'm going to do to take action and get this under control and get my debt paid off. And we're going to go through my budgeting system, my binders and what I'm doing and kind of uh, refine it a little bit um, so that I am focusing on paying off my debt and um, just making that the focus of what I'm doing here. So we might get rid of some categories. Um, we'll mark some categories that aren't a priority at the moment, and then we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so I think the last time that I did a debt confession video um, was at the beginning of 2023, and I had about $9,000 in consumer debt. It's completely consumer debt. Um, which is part of what I, I'm so frustrated with myself, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to take action. So, um, <clears throat> so I just, just figured it all out. And, um, my current debt is $12,361 and 44 cents. So that's how much I owe. Um, I've consolidated it to one low interest line of credit that I have. Um, so I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. So the interest is very low on it monthly. Um, but regardless of that, I just need to get this under control. Um, you know, it's not fair to my partner that I've done this. It's not fair to Mark and it's not fair to Finn or myself. Um, but like I said, we're not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to beat myself up because I don't see the point in that. We're just going to take action, pay it back and hold myself very accountable using this YouTube channel. So that's my plan. So I have kind of laid out four um, things that I'm going to do until I've paid this debt back. And um, here they are. So number one, I don't know if you can see this, but I'll just talk it through quickly is to stop spending obviously. Um, I really need to cut down on my spending and, um, just be a little bit, be a lot more strict with myself. Um, and I'm going to track my spending. I need to write it down and I'm going to do monthly check-ins on this YouTube channel. Um, the second one is to focus on debt repayment. I think that was one of the mistakes that I made earlier was, um, you know, I was saving for a lot of different things and doing savings challenges and that's great for some people, but, um, for me, I just really need to focus on paying down this debt. So, um, that's why we're going to go through my binders and savings challenges and decide which ones, um, I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to put on the back burner for now. Um, number three, my Etsy shop has been picking up a little bit, um, and over the next month, and maybe I'll talk about this in another video, but I've made some kind of big challenges for myself in terms of my Etsy shop to see if I can really get it going. Um, so I am going to use quite a bit of, you know, the income after taxes and business expenses um, towards my Etsy shop. And you'll see that I think my next video, I'm going to do an Etsy shop cash stuffing. So you can see how I'm going to do that there. But I'm really going to give this a go. Um, and number four is to track my debt. I need to make a visual of how much I owe and do monthly check-ins and make sure that it is steadily going down. So um, 
let me know in the comments what you think if you have any tips um for me to start paying this back if i'm you know missing something big um i'd love to know so just quickly my four steps are going to be to stop spending focus on the debt repayment over savings and things like that i'm going to use my etsy shop hopefully <laughs> to um, make some extra income to pay back and then i'm going to track my debt very closely and do monthly check-ins on youtube to keep myself accountable Okay, so that's done. And the first thing I'm going to do is go through my wallet. Um, you know, I talked to Mark about this and we decided um, to really try to stop eating out. Um, you know, if we don't feel like cooking dinner, rather than getting takeaway, we can just run to the store and get like a bag of salad and a you know, roast chicken and that'll cost like 15 bucks versus like 70 bucks because takeout is so expensive now. So I'm, for now, I'm going to take away the eating out category. I'm going to take away the coffee category. That is something that I love. I love getting coffee, but at this point I'm spending way too much money on it. It's ridiculous. Um, groceries, I'm going to keep. Finley, I'm going to keep. This Beth envelope I'm going to keep and this miscellaneous envelope I'm going to keep because although I do want to focus on paying off my debt we do have expenses um so I'm trying to find you know a good medium between not spending money putting money towards debt but also giving myself the money that we need to live um if that makes sense so uh for now I'm going to keep these categories in my wallet, groceries, Finley, Beth, and miscellaneous. Okay, so that's my wallet. Um, next, let's go through my short-term sinking funds. We're gonna see if there's any money that I can take out of here to put towards my debt at the moment. And then I just cut up these little strips of post-it notes for now. Um, and I'm gonna put a post-it note on the categories that are not a priority for me at the moment. So Finley is, he's a little growing little monkey who always needs things. So I'm gonna leave Finley. Garden, um, I have spent so much money on my garden, so I'm taking this out to put towards my debt and we'll count that at the end. And my gardens are set up and I don't need to spend any more money um, on them for now. That being said, I may want to get some flowers, some outdoor flowers, you know, in the fall. So I'm going to keep this category, but stuff it very slowly and very little. Clothing. I spent so much money on clothing. Same story. Not a priority for me at the moment, but the reality is I will need some new clothing at some point, so I will keep it, but stuff it very slowly. Yes, um, I'm going to keep travel. I'm going to keep, but stuff very slowly. We are still going to Toronto in a few weeks, so I'm going to use this money for that. Costco, I'm going to leave because we do need things from Costco, diapers and things like that. Beauty, I am going to take out, put it there and put a sticker on this one. I am pretty stocked up on beauty products. I bought new makeup recently. I got my hair done, so I should not need much from there. Uh, date night is a sad category <laughs> that I am going to take the money out of. Um, and put a not priority sticker on it for now, which is kind of okay. We do have a bitty C summer. Um, so date night is not a priority for me at the moment. Farmer's market is the same. It makes me sad, but it's just not something that I am focusing on at the moment. 
what else do we have? Love Every. I'm going to leave this one. Um, I do think that it is an important category for Finn. It stops us from buying other random toys. Um, and it, I love the toys. I think they're very educational for him. So I'm going to leave that one. Phone Bill, obviously that keeps going out. School, I will keep. Buffer, I will keep. Take the money from there for now. And put a sticker on it. Um, and back to bank is obviously going to be this money that I'm paying towards my debt. So we'll leave that for now. Okay. My goal here is that when I get paid um, more of my more of my what's the word not disposable income but variable income maybe is going to go to debt versus my envelopes um car maintenance we need and we're going to keep summer i'm going to keep it as is christmas is another one that the reality is we're going to have christmas so for now i'll leave that miscellaneous and events um, I'm going to keep this money in here um, to use for when we go to Toronto, but after that, this is not a priority. Um, new house is not a priority for me, and I am going to take the money out to put towards my debt. Uh, new car is a priority. Um, and I will continue stuffing this. Our car will break down someday and I want to have money for it to replace it. So I'm gonna leave that category as is, but fancy stuff I'm taking out because I've bought myself a lot of stuff <laughs> lately. So I'm gonna leave that one <laughs> for now. This one is renovations. I'm gonna take the money from there, make it not a priority. Um, this is days off and that is a priority for me. Um, I do need to save for when I do have to take a day off. And this one's buffer, I'm going to keep it, take the money out, and make it a low priority. Alright, so that's that one. Next we'll do my savings binder. So Finley's savings, I'm going to keep the same. I put $10 per paycheck. In there so I'm gonna keep that one my emergency fund I will keep as well currently have a thousand dollars in my emergency fund and until I pay off the debt um, I'm going to lower this priority and um, I don't know maybe I, I still want to put something in it because um, I do want it to grow even the tiniest bit but not as much as I was stuffing joint vacation, joint emergency fund, and joint house. Those are between Mark and I, so I'm leaving those as is. And rollover, I'm going to stop using these envelopes for now and take out the money. Um, rollover money is now going to go to my debt until it's paid off. So that's that. Um, I have my $1,500 savings challenge here, and I'm going to continue to do this. This is gonna be the one of two saving challenges that I'm going to do, and the change savings challenge as well. Um, and then when I'm done these challenges, um, I'll put it towards my debt most likely, but it's kind of nice to see it for now. All right, so that's my savings binder. Um, this $500 savings challenge, I'm going to continue to do and stuff with my Etsy income. Um, so only with Etsy income, but I'm going to continue to do that one. And I'm going to take this opportunity to show you my new savings challenge that I'm not doing, but I did make and put up on my Etsy shop, which I'll link below. Um, this one is a $1,000 savings challenge with these little florals and vellum envelopes, which I just think are so pretty. So you can either get the $500 savings challenge or $1,000 um, in either 
design here. So, all right, so this one I'm going to put away because I'm not doing it. And that one I will continue to stuff with my Etsy income. And then the final binder I have is, um, this is my business binder for my Etsy shop, which I'm mostly going to leave alone. Um, but I am going to stop using this RRSP envelope. So I might just take it out altogether. Um, for now and I am going to just focus on debt so I'm gonna leave this envelope and I will still use it um, and yeah that's that so that is all of my wallet my binders my savings challenges um, kind of sorted out so that's great and now I need to count up all of this cash and put it in my debt and put it in my debt envelope um, and then at the end of the month so I still have one more regular paycheck and one more Etsy paycheck that I will add to this and then at the end of the month I will take it back to the bank so let's see what we've got here This is all going to my loan and we'll see what we have here. So we have 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, so 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600, 5, 10, 15. So I'm going to go and take this to the bank right now. $615. Um, and moving forward, this channel is going to be very focused on debt repayment, um, accountability, and things like that. So if you're interested in that, um, please stick around and uh, you can kind of cheer me on. Keep me accountable in the comments section. I would really appreciate that support. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thank you.